I know I said I wasn't going to do a whole lot of steampunk, but I found an accordion. My ideas for modding this thing to make it look more in character would be to make this look more like wood. So I'm going to do a faux wood painting on that and I'll show you how to do that. These I'm thinking maybe copper and oh, um, we're going to replace all these straps with like actual brown leather and let's see, pop this guy open and ooh, I'm thinking this needs to be copper as well. It's like papers. Oh, and some of you who play accordion out there might notice that, uh oh, we're missing the buttons. Luckily, they're just trapped inside, so we will have to do some surgery, pop this open, reset the buttons, and hopefully get those working again, and that would be awesome. The fabric inside here, I'm not sure if I like it. I have to reattach it anyway, so I'm probably gonna end up playing with that. We'll see. Let's give this a go. Opening this thing up meant dealing with a bajillion tiny screws that could get lost. I will show you tricks on how to keep track of your screws later. Aha, there's the buttons we were talking about. Yep, even those have to come off. Oh, I was so afraid of ripping this. Let's just say I worked at it very slowly. And now you know what the inside of an accordion looks like. They aren't kidding that it's basically a giant harmonica. One thing I learned when taking stuff apart, you can never take enough pictures of everything because when you go to put it back together and you forget how it's done, at least you have the pictures. Important tip regarding the screws, use little baggies. For each little section of what you took apart, group them together. Tape up all the parts that you don't wanna get paint on. To help the paint stick to the plastic, I'm using a rough grain sandpaper and roughing everything up. If you go in one direction, this also helps with the grain texture that we're going for in the wood look. The first coat of paint I'm using is a black spray paint with primer. We're gonna start with the highlights of the wood grain. You take a yellow acrylic paint and a crumpled up piece of paper towel. Dip the paper towel in the paint very lightly, even get more paint off of the paper towel. Then start wiping it on your piece extremely lightly, just barely getting any paint on there in one direction. I love red woods personally, like cherry and mahogany, so I took a burgundy red spray paint as my next layer. Do a very light coat on this as well. You don't want to completely cover up that yellow paint. Now we're going to use our brown. Don't overspray it. Don't cover the yellow. I originally wanted these pieces copper, but then I changed my mind on one of the pieces and it looked better as silver. I ended up not liking the really shiny copper penny look. It was just way too cartoony. So we are going to age the bellows with a patina look. Thank you everybody on Facebook and Instagram for that idea. I'm going to take a turquoise acrylic paint. I'm going to splash a little bit of water in it, mix it up, and then just lightly brush it all over the bellows. Now we're going to give it a little more depth and do the same thing with a black acrylic paint. Okay, so I changed my mind about the leather straps because I realized that not everybody just has scraps of leather laying around to make straps. I used a brown acrylic paint on this. Do not use spray paint. It'll just stick to itself, it's terrible. I am using a glue called The Ultimate Glue. It pretty much sticks to everything. Put a little glue on each part that you're putting together. Wait two minutes. Squirsh it together. Now we are resetting the buttons that I painted silver. Of course, checking to make sure that they are lined up right and still work.
Time to take out all those tiny screws and screw everything together. I'm using rub and buff on the keys and a few accent parts. I love this stuff. It is basically in my crafter's toolbox all the time. Whoops, that button got stuck. Gotta fix that. A little bit of rub and buff goes a long way. Just barely put some on your finger and start just lightly rubbing it on the pieces that you wanna accent. If you accidentally get some on another piece, don't worry about it. You can always go back with a tiny brush and touch up pieces. And there it is. I am ridiculously excited how this thing turned out and I want to thank a lot of you who are following along as I was posting pictures about the progress of this accordion and I especially want to thank you for your ideas on how to make the copper look better with the aging by giving it the patina look, which is that green oxidation you see. I also want to thank Rob Steinhofer for answering my emails about the inner workings of an accordion. And I had a little concern because what I thought were reeds were looking a little like maybe they were damaged and I didn't know if I needed to fix them. He assured me that they were fine and that they were actually valves and I super thank you for taking the time and answering my email about all the questions I had about accordions. You're probably wondering, does it work after seeing all the horrifying guts of the insides sprawled out everywhere? But yes, it does work. <laughs> Now I need to learn how to play it. <laughs>